right, so ready to put on some mascara and maybe a little hairspray. Sounds like fun. Is this a makeover episode? Not quite, although with Tammy Faye, you never know. Yeah. No, today we're doing a deep dive on Tammy Faye, the musical. It just hit Broadway. Big expectations, mixed reviews. Yeah, I've been hearing about it. A lot of buzz, especially with Elton John doing the music. But Exactly. Elton John, the guy writes a song, and it's instantly iconic. Mm. So you figure a whole musical about a personality like Cammie Faye Baker. It'd be a slam dunk, right? Well, that's what everyone thought. But the reviews are kind of all over the place. That they are. Uh so for anyone who needs a little refresher, Tammy Faye Baker, televangelist, think big hair, bigger eyelashes, and a whole lot of glitz and glamour, even when things got rough. She was definitely a force of nature, and her story is pretty wild. She and her husband, Jim Baker, built this whole televangelism empire back in the 80s, mega churches, TV studios, the whole nine yards, and then, of course, the scandal, the downfall. But through it all, Tammy Faye, she never lost her faith or her love for people. She's actually really ahead of her time, especially in her embrace of the LGBTQ plus community, like way before it was even remotely acceptable in those circles. Absolutely. Her compassion was truly remarkable. Like that interview she did with Steve Peters, the gay pastor living with AIDS back in 85. I mean, mm -hmm. can you imagine the guts that took back then? She faced so much backlash, but she stood firm. She believed in love and acceptance no matter what. So you'd think a musical about her life, especially with Elton John on board, would be this huge, powerful, moving experience. Oh, but. but a lot of critics are saying it just doesn't quite hit the mark. They say the musical feels kind of surface level, like they get the Tammy Faye look, but not the depth of her personality or the complexity of her story. You know, the rise, the fall, the unwavering faith, the compassion, all of it, it's all there, but it feels kind of like a, a cardboard cutout. If that makes sense. It does. Like they got the outline right, but forgot to color it in. Exactly. And the music too. That's what's throwing people off. You've got Elton John composing, right? The right. guy who wrote Tiny Dancer and Rocket Man and well, pretty much every hit you can think of. But the music in Tammy Faye, it, it just doesn't seem to pack the punch you'd expect. It's almost like it's trying to be too safe, too middle of the road when you'd expect it to be big and bold and well, more. Tammy Faye-ish. Right, like there's this one song, If Only Love, that's supposed to be this big anthem, but it just ends up sounding like a generic pop ballad that you'd hear on the radio. It's not bad, but it's just not memorable. And then there's the satire, the musical tries to poke fun at the whole televangelist world, you know, the hypocrisy, the excess, the whole shebang. But again, it misses the mark. Yeah, the satire falls flat. It's more cartoonish than clever. There's this one scene with Jerry Falwell, you know, the super conservative guy, and he's spouting lines about making America great again. Oof. Yeah, I can see how that wouldn't land well. Right. Like, in our current political climate, it just feels tone deaf. And the music doesn't help. It actually softens the satire, which makes the whole thing even weirder. Like a square peg in a round hole. Yeah. It makes you wonder, was this just bad timing? Like, is America just too divided right now, too sensitive to the whole religion and politics thing? to really appreciate a nuanced take on Tammy Faye and her world? Maybe. I mean, she was controversial. People either loved her or hated her. And in today's climate, it's tough to find that middle ground, that space for empathy and understanding. True. So I guess the bottom line is Tammy Faye, the musical. Visually stunning, talented cast, but ultimately it doesn't quite capture the magic of the woman herself. Which is a shame because her story has so much potential. I mean, think about it. Faith, fame, scandal, redemption, unwavering compassion in the face of adversity. It's a story that deserves to be told and told well. So maybe that's the takeaway here. Not that Tammy Faye failed, but that it raises the bar for future storytellers who want to tackle her legacy. What would it take to create a musical that truly does her justice? What kind of music would capture her spirit? What would the tone be? Something to think about, right? Definitely something to think about. Maybe there's a Tony Award-winning Tammy Faye musical out there just waiting to be written. Maybe. Maybe we should give it a shot. All right, let's hold off on the songwriting for now. But hey, never say never, right? Never say never. Thanks for joining me on this Tammy Faye deep dive. Until next time. See ya, Bruce.